Greetings, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Nate Angel, and I'm making this video here today because the organizers from Equity Unbound, who put on the Mid-Year Festival, or what we call My Fest, have asked a bunch of us in the community if we would share some tips on how we try to create what we call intentional hospitality. A lot of other people in the community are contributing some really great tips, and so I thought I might try to do something a little bit different. And that's why I'm bringing to you today this video that I'm calling A Straight White Dude's Guide to Better Conversations. One thing that's really clear to me is that I sit on a throne of privilege. I mean, I'm a straight white guy of a certain age from the USA. And in my experience, people like me who sit on these thrones of privilege often don't help other people feel comfortable and engaged in meetings. And so I thought I'd share some things that I try to do to make other people feel that sense of intentional hospitality when I'm in the room. So the first thing that I'd share, and probably the most important, is just really simple, and it's pretty straightforward, and that is that I just try to talk less. Just talk less. So one of the things I realize is that, of course, I think I'm really great. And so I think I have a lot of really valuable and important things to say. But I realize I don't always need to be proving how smart and important I am. So I don't always have to be the first person to talk. I could let somebody else talk first. And I don't even need to be the last person to talk. I could let somebody else have the final word. Another thing that's important is you could just say one thing at a time. You don't have to keep going on and on and adding on to the sentence and making your point over and over again and saying it in different words and being repetitive, just say it once. And then you can be quiet and let somebody else have a turn. Pass the baton. So another thing that I've learned, and this is a companion piece to talking less, is to listen more. And by listening, I don't just mean being quiet. I mean actually actively listening. Because when I'm I found that when I'm actively listening, I might learn things that I wouldn't otherwise learn, and that can be really powerful. And sort of a companion piece to that is uh, to learn to be comfortable with silence. Let a moment unfold, and it can be a space for you to reflect and for others to reflect, and to give other people a chance to have their voices heard, because you're not just filling that empty space with your own voice. So a third area that I've found really helps my practice is uh, pretty simple. It's just to mind your manners. It's very straightforward stuff, you know, just welcome people when things start, thank them when they've contributed something, say goodbye when it's over, use people's names. Uh, nothing makes somebody feel more welcome than when you use their name. And, uh, you know, you can also keep yourself muted when you're not talking. That's a very polite thing to do when you're online. Uh, and uh, I also find that it can really help people if you like use facial expressions. You don't always have to be talking, but you can react to what other people are saying. Like, oh, you can raise an eyebrow. You can think, put a thoughtful face on. You can give a thumbs up. You can do jazz hands. You can clap. You can thank people. There's all sorts of things that you can do uh, with your body and your face that uh, can make for uh, a feeling of hospitality that isn't you talking. So in the, the final thing that I think about in all this is that um, when I go into a gathering or a meeting or a class, I just try to make it not all about me. And I try to think about what the other people who were there are going to get out of it and what their experience is going to be like. So another thing that you can do is read the room. Uh, you know, take note of who's really engaged and who's maybe less engaged. And just because somebody's not talking doesn't mean they're not engaged. Maybe they need to interact on a different level uh, using chat or facial expressions like I was talking about before. And in those moments when you're being quiet and, and listening, uh, instead of thinking about what you're gonna say next, look around and see who else is in the room and what they might be up to and what their experience looks like. And maybe you can do some things to help their experience be more powerful uh, and engaging for them. 
So to recap quickly, if you sit on a throne of privilege like I do, I've found that there's a few things that I can do that will make everybody's experience at a gathering better, including yours. Talk less, listen more, mind your manners, and most of all, remember that it's not all about you. So you can learn more about Equity Unbound at equityunbound.org and find the MyFest program. And if you want to learn more about me, visit my blog at shlodel.org. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope maybe I'll see you at a MyFest event or at some other gathering that's either online or in person. Bye, y'all.